What's going on guys, KDG here, back again with another video for the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And today we're going to be doing Itching for Greater Fights, Part 16, the Gilgamesh Lost Chapter event. Taking a party consisting of Pain, Gilgamesh, and Prompto. Um, take a look at our passage real quick. So with Pain, as you guys can see, I have the Ephraim and Shiva passage good to go. And I am missing Ramu. I will get to him eventually with her. Um, but as you guys can see, this is what I currently have with her. I don't really have any passages equipped, unfortunately. Or an artifact passage. Uh, looking at our boy Gilgamesh, he's pretty much bare bones, doesn't have any boards done, and he just pretty much has his level 60, up to his level 60, or well, 61. And then we have Prompto over here, he has pretty much everything mastered, good to go. Uh, he's my artifact passive down here. Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu are equipped. Alright, so let's go ahead and find a good friend real quick, hopefully we can find a Quistus or maybe a War of Light. Let's go with, uh, mm, let's see what we got on our friend list real quick. There was one quiz that was really awesome that I'm our friend list. I'm trying to find it. But if not, we'll just go ahead and take this one right here. Day one, Orlando, please. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin, guys. Alright, so the boss at the very end, which is what we're aiming obviously to get to, he does not allow anybody to, to inflict him with beat-ups. So, it's going to be, I wouldn't say hard to beat him, but it's going to just be a little annoying, if anything. Just because he just kind of gets in the way. As you're trying to like just take him out. Alright, so yep, we're gonna get poison bite, that's fine. See you're gone. I'm not even gonna use skill on you because you got the source. You don't even have any Harlem in your life. Piercer here, we we'll definitely take him out. Alright, so prompts look pretty good still. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do let's do a star show, you know? Just, might as well. We can, we can go ahead and uh do the game break right here, that's okay. You're gonna go after Prompto, you're gonna miss. And then we'll start our first stack here with our Alright, so this is the third mini boss right here, third wave. We already have our trigger head ready to go. Let's get it. Oh, I love that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another break attack. Right, looks like we're getting some attention on our boy here. Let's go ahead and do a mad dance. And then Pronto can follow that up with a star shell. Keep our boy safe from getting broken. Then we do have a Genji Blade, why not? Things okay? Not bad. Oh, you missed. That's why Prompto comes in handy. He does damage, he can act like a tank. Um, he's a brave batter, I mean, he just it's everything. And I think he does pretty well. I mean, just those clutch moments when you just need him to be, when you need him to be focused, that's all you need is that one turn, honestly. I was going to do a uh, crack shot. I don't want to use any skills right there. We can just take him out like that, good. All right, so we'll just do an HP attack plus for now. He's almost out of here. Do a Genji Blade and save our skills. And then our girl over here can just do another break attack. Alright, so moving on. This is the final wave right here. This is where we're going to really take to him. Uh, we want to go in kind of hard, pretty strong. Um, but at the same time, we got to realize that we can't use all our skills up front. So let's go ahead and just do a debuff attack in advance. Uh, sword dance as well. Get a little bit of extra max wave going on here with the party. The fact that he's a single target, but he just has a ton of HP, we're in the clear, so I'm not even worried about it. So, you know what, let's just go ahead and do an HP attack plus, crack shot. And we got Hurricane ready to do it too, look at that. And like I was saying, Gilgamesh, he does so many spins right here. That's one of the reason why I pulled for him and got his EX, is that he just does so many spins. Like, I think the devs meant to give him a, a rework that would uh, let the EX at least do a little more damage. Um, but, you know, maybe they missed the mark on that. Maybe they just didn't have it right. But I just think, even though it's the JP version, you know, he doesn't really do that in the JP version either. He still only does three hits. I think that, you know, they just kind of maybe messed up or something. But I, So I think down the line, he's going to get something better than what he has currently now. <laughs> um, you can always hope, right? <laughs> All right, so 41 carry right there. Not bad. All right, Prompto, let's go ahead and do Piercer. Good damage right there. 
Man, we're just doing Kotetsu right here. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and just hit him with Trigger Happy since we got the EX ready to go. Let's get Oh, you do your colossal energy draw. I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and do a break attack. Get Hurricane ready to go. Take that out too. Not bad. And then, let's go ahead and do Star Shell since he thinks he's going to actually hit somebody with all that you know, HP and, and stuff. <laughs> um, he thinks he's going to get that close, but I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to get broken before he even gets a turn to attack. So. Broken. Let's go ahead and do an attack speed. Come back, hit him with trigger heavy. Let's get it. Alright, so wild dance is still good. Let's hit him with another wild dance, why not? Because then we're gonna swap in our girl over here, Clifford. And she's just gonna delay you away. Bounce it with a crack shot. And GK can't, can't, can't hate on that damage right there. Oh, he actually got it off. I don't believe it. Piercer, good to go. Get a delay here. And then trigger has it. Let's get it. Hurricane ready to go as well. Like I said, the go battle guys, look at this. I mean, it just, it's just, it's funny because it's, it's like, you should be hitting way more, but you're only hitting three times. Come on, man. The dubs really messed up on that one. They had to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, if if he was doing more hits right now, I guarantee I would have a max out with this 90 CP If he was doing way more damage output, and I knew it was happening soon, like in terms of like the next six months or so, he would be getting it. I would already have his skills ready to go. Fortunately, that's not the case here. All right, so he's almost done. He's about half, a little bit more than halfway. Well, actually three quarters of the way now. Pierce should hopefully get him in the red soon. Uh, one, one more attack should do it though, I believe. Before you carry here, in the red. All right, so let's go ahead and summon. Now I had my work, my bad cases, or bad tries with uh, Quistus is here on my friends list. Let's see if this one can actually reach the threshold. And no. <laughs> so, um, I don't expect it though. We're not in Sanjuri or anything like that. So don't expect it to. But he is weak to thunder. So you would think, right? But yeah, whatever. Get Trigger Heavy ready to go. Let's see. Right, and then we're just going to do the laser whip. That should at least get us to 30k. Yeah. And here we go. Well, well, we still got two wild dances left. He's weak in this summon phase. So we're good on that front. I don't know. I'm doing attack speed in the summon. Um, but we do have Piercer ready to go as well. And Prompt comes right back another turn, which gives him his trigger. Not bad. Alright, so just do a Kotetsu here. Put some debuffs on me. Unfortunately, uh, we'll go ahead and hit him with brick attack. Prompt will come back in with crack shot. And I love crack shot too. It acts like another skill. Um, it's just it's just so good. Like if you run out of skills, he has crack shot and it ignores the enemy's defense. You can't you really can't hate on that. At least I can. Dark sky. That should take him out. All right. <clears throat> So it's pretty good EX. Um, well, I wouldn't say EX if it's not an EX. But it's a hard mode fight, but it feels like an EX. I wouldn't say it's like a Cosmos because this is the last chapter. And uh, the enemy just has a lot of more HP in comparison to other uh, other part 15 or part 16 or the final boss basically of a lost chapter. At least my, in my opinion, it does. And it could just be that my um, Gilgamesh is not putting a lot of damage, but you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon for notifications of my next video. 
I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will probably be uh, either Rims uh, EX or the Awakening Batch EX. So just stay tuned, guys. It's coming soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.